Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a text-based web browser called Lynx. L-Y-N-X. Lynx. Lynx is an interesting web browser in that you run it from a terminal. You launch it inside a terminal. Lynx was first started in 1992, making it the oldest web browser I think that is still currently under development and active development. Lynx runs on Unix systems such as Linux, BSD, Solaris, runs on Mac OS, VMS, Windows 9598 NT, DOS 386 Plus. Uh, so pretty much Lynx is available on any operating system. Looks like the latest release of Lynx, which is version 2.8.8 was released on February 14th, 2014, so that was more than three years ago for the, the last release of Lynx. So it's, it may be actively developed, but it's definitely a, a long time between releases. One thing about the Lynx web browser that is a, a definite positive is, is they have good documentation here on their web page. They have a user guide and uh, how to edit your config files, cheat sheets, everything you could possibly want to know about the Lynx web browser. So let's go ahead and launch the Lynx web browser. First we need to open a terminal. So I'm going to open up my terminal here. And I'm going to type L-Y-N-X Lynx. I'm going to hit enter. The first time you use Lynx, by default it goes to the Lynx web page, which is lynx.invisible-island.net. You see the URL here at the top of the page. And if we wanted to navigate around the Lynx web page here, we can use the arrow keys up and down. It moves you to each link in the page. We could also use page up and page down to quickly move. Say I want to go to this current development link right here. I hit enter. And now I'm on this, this page here. I can use the arrow keys. It looks like it's a very large page, so I can page down to move quickly all the way to the bottom and back up to the top of the page. I don't want to do anything really on the Lynx website here, so I'm going to type G. At the bottom, you see these hotkeys here. G stands for go. Type G. And then the website you wish to go to. I'm going to go to distrowatch.com. It's going to ask me, do I want to accept cookies? I'm going to choose yes. And we are now on distrowatch.com. And before I proceed, I should mention that by default, links always ask you about cookies, accepting cookies on a website. Uh, back in the day when links was first developed, cookies were not very common on websites. And if they were used, they were usually used for important things like user and password authentication. Nowadays, almost every major website uses cookies, so to have that cookie prompt come up, do you want to accept cookies, it's going to get really old really fast. Lynx does have a config file that you can set up for different configurations, and one of the things you can do is turn off that cookie prompt, where it will no longer ask you, do you want to accept cookies or not, it will just always automatically accept them. I recommend you do that because, again, if you use links on a regular basis, it's going to get really old, really fast, every page you go to, constantly asking you, do you want to accept the cookies for that site or not? Now here we are on the distrowatch.com page. Again, we can use our arrow keys to move around. There's a lot of links here on the distrowatch.com page. I can page up and page down to move around a little quicker, but also, you can do a search for links here on the distrowatch.com page. If you notice at the bottom, one of our hotkeys is the slash symbol. The slash symbol is basically a search query, so it asks us to enter our search query. And I'm going to search for, you know what, I'm going to search for podcast. And hit enter. And every link that includes the word podcast is highlighted here. And now I can navigate around through those. We can also bookmark a page. You know, I really like the distrowatch.com page. I view it regularly. I have it bookmarked, you know, in Firefox and Chromium. 
I want to bookmark it in my links web browser too. You do this with A. You type the letter A and it asks you do you want to save the document? Do you want to link it to a bookmark file? C for cancel. I want to link this to a bookmark file. So I type L and it asks for the title of this bookmark. You know, here it is the title of the Distro Watch latest DWW podcast. I'm going to change this title. I just wanted to say distrowatch.com.com in my bookmarks file. Hit enter and it says done. To view the bookmarks you need to type V and here are my bookmarks. I only have one now. I've only created one bookmark. So to delete this bookmark, say I wanted to get rid of it, I would type R for remove. It asks me do I really want to delete this link from the bookmark file. Type Y for yes and it's gone. There is a lot more to links than what I've shown you so far. Let me just briefly show you the man page for links. Just to show you, you know, some of the various options here. Lots of flags you can invoke when you run links in the terminal. Very large man page. Very large. A lot of configuration stuff shows you how to modify your links config file. The links config file is found in slash etsy slash links slash links dot cfg I believe. Let me launch this in nano. No, that is not the right file. Oh, that is the right file. Excuse me. So yes, slash etsy slash links slash links dot cfg and this config file is a really kind of monstrous config file. It has a ton of things you can set here. So Links is a very very powerful web browser. You have settings for everything for how to download things to the uh, look and configuration, hotkeys, uh, again we can set it to always accept cookies so we never get that cookie prompt this is a very 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 large config file so I'm going to exit out of that the last thing I'm going to uh, leave you with is you know earlier when we launched links we just typed in L Y N X links well you can give it some arguments here the most common argument you're going to give it is a link to a website or a file on your local host so I could type links space google.com and when it opens, uh, we have to accept these cookies again. I really need to change this to always accept cookies. Here it is. Google.com is the page that loads up. So why would someone choose to use a terminal text-based web browser such as Lynx? Well, it does have some benefits. For one, because there is no graphics, no streaming video on any of these sites. I mean right now we're looking at google.com it's a pretty bare bones site but say I loaded a, a news site like CNN or the BBC you know, it has a lot of graphics, a lot of video, a lot of ads even on the site none of that stuff loads inside the links web browser so your pages load almost instantly very fast page load times if you actually don't need the graphics and the videos on some of these pages viewing it in links is really the smart way to go. Also, I mentioned you know the ads don't run inside the Lynx web browser, so there's that. If you're one of those people that are really annoyed and put off by a lot of ads, uh, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff in Lynx. They don't show. Uh, navigating around Lynx is pretty intuitive. As I said, you can use your arrow keys, the page up, page down keys. You can also use the Vim keys, that is the H, J, K, L keys on the keyboard for those that like to navigate around using the Vim keys. Uh, another advantage, and this one I may be stretching it a little bit, is uh, privacy. Uh, when people walk by you viewing a web page in something like Firefox or Chromium, they can spot what website you're viewing right away. They see the logo of the website, they see all the graphics and images and everything, and they recognize exactly what website you're on, what you're doing, if somebody walked by right now and saw me playing around in this Lynx web browser, it's all text-based. 
unless they get close enough to actually read the text of the uh, page I'm viewing, they have no idea what I'm viewing, what I'm doing. So that's a you know a small advantage to using links. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to continue to review a lot of these terminal-based applications that I think the general public needs to be aware of that a lot of you guys maybe have never heard about. But I really think, especially something like links, you know, it's really user-friendly, easy to use, and it will change the way you surf the web. Uh, you will get a lot more work done quicker. Pages load faster. It's e easier to navigate the page with the hot keys such as the search keys. So guys, give links web browser a try. Peace guys.